you've been around a long time. You've seen a lot of stuff. Yeah. How does this week compare? I've not seen anything like this. And I have to say, Mark, that a lot of this doesn't surprise me. But when I see the capital of the United States, the symbol of our freedom, under assault from domestic terrorists, it broke my heart. What do you think could or will happen between now and January 20th? Let's face it, we have to worry that Donald Trump will incite more of this, will call out his troops even more in his final days in office. And when they come out, there will be violent confrontations. What can responsible Republicans or Democrats do to stop him? There are two paths to take. One is the 25th Amendment of the Constitution, or he could be impeached and removed. The problem as I see it, Mark, is I don't see Mike Pence invoking the 25th Amendment. And you can get maybe a majority of the House to vote to impeach him. I cannot imagine two-thirds of the Senate, absent some other horrific action on his part, removing him. The focus has been on Donald Trump yeah. so much. Yeah. And it's not just all those members of Congress who uh, basically, after all of this, said the election was invalid. It is the enabling of Donald Trump for four years. It's the enabling by Kevin McCarthy, the Republican leader in the House. It's the enabling by Mitch McConnell and by Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham could say, as he did after what happened yesterday, enough is enough. Enough was enough a long time ago. The Republican Party in Congress was AWOL. They gave Trump almost a blank check as long as he would give them a big tax cut and the judges that they wanted. What I'm worried about is that they will simply say, hey, it's all Donald Trump. You know, he was fine for a while, but then he went unhinged. And once we're rid of him, we can go back to business as usual. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, if this, an armed insurrection taking control of the capital of the United States, doesn't jolt people into fundamental change, we've got a lot of bad times ahead.